Good morning, or depending when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and I was always told I had a voice for radio, so today... We're watching some more action from the live stream. Now I know we're not just going to randomly upload live stream games. There's always a theme. And today is a lovely theme because what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at Tapu Bulu against people watching my stream. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. I still think Tapu Bulu v Cavalt is a really good deck. So I did a whole bunch of viewer battles on a stream recently and I played against people with Tapu Bulu. I think the deck's great, but sit back, grab yourselves a nice cold beverage, and hopefully over the next few minutes, I can convince you as well that it's at least worth a look. Now today, I really want to play some Tapu Bulu v Cavalt. And the good news is, it's my stream and I can play whatever I want, Mum. So yeah, we're going to play some Tapu Bulu Vika Vault. Here is my list. I like this list. I really like this list. I do not use Zerkatry as often as I should. I cut my Auron Guru for it. I'm considering going back. But it's just so good in some particular matchups. And then everything else... Not that out of the ordinary. I'd love a second Professor Kakui because it really helps hit the numbers against decks like Gardevoir, but you can't have it all. So, that's my that's my big of old bully list, and I quite like it. Now, I want to spend today, the majority of today, doing viewer battles. So I just lost to Dow Fox, which is slightly embarrassing. Having said that, like I say, misplays. And this is what I, I challenge all of you guys to do. And actually, if you do play on PTCGO, you should consider uh, recording some of your games sometime. Because if you can identify ways you went wrong, that will really help you in the future. To be honest, one of my... um. One of my biggest problems is when I stream, I end up telling stories and chatting to you guys. The, me on stream is not kind of maximum wussy. It is not the best you'll ever see me. To be perfectly honest, I play two Bridget in this deck just so this doesn't happen. I'm literally playing two Bridget just so that I don't end up without a Bridget. Now I'm just benching a Lele for no good reason. Ugh. This sucks. Nothing I can do about it, but it sucks. Um, right. I love Dow Fox. But most people at this stage only play one Bridget. And the reason they only play one Bridget is to save space. So can someone please tell me how I play two Bridget and they both end up prized the game after my Remoraid and Octillery were both prized. Boo, hiss, etc. Hey ho. <laughs> oh, never mind. There we go. Oh, yeah. And, and, and don't get me wrong, right? When I lose on stream, you know, I'll, I'll talk about it. And occasionally it'll turn into salty territory. The thing I do want to make super clear. I love playing on, especially when I play you guys. I just love playing on stream. So please remember that I'm never actually kind of angry or any of that. It's all in good fun. I don't mind. I mean, if I'm going to get really unlucky in a game, I want it to be on stream. I want to save all of my good luck for when I'm actually playing in real tournaments. And then I want to play really, you know, and then I want to have all my bad luck on stream. That's what I'm hoping. Oh, this is an unusual deck. Unfortunately, as long as we can draw an energy, we'll be fine here. Now, at this stage in the game, I've got enough energy that I don't need to worry. We strong charge after the end. Oh, come on! I deliberately strong charged after the end to maximize my chances of hitting a grass energy from the end. Not only do I not hit a grass energy off the end, but I also hit a lightning energy. <coughs> that is absolute garbage. I am personally upset. That is rubbish. Boo! 
The only saving grace is here. If I horn attack, I can Tapu Wilderness for the KO. Problem is, I had an easy KO on a GX Pokemon for two prizes. Now my opponent's got to return to treat to retreat it, and I end up just hitting Tapu. It, it's not the same. What I really want here... Yeah. Ah, oh, and then we got Weavar, 60 damage to each Pokemon that has an ability. And I've got multiple Pokemon with an ability out. Ah, oh, and th this, this is, this is what happens. Because now we got, and I love this deck. Uh, Honchkrow does 10 damage plus 10 for each damage counter on all your opponent's Pokemon. Now we bring in Bursting Balloon. And this is how a game goes sideways. Because now, Honchkrow is going to be doing a huge amount of damage, and he's just spreading damage all around. So, I pretty much have to get the Honchkrow here. But the problem is, I'm now opening myself up to more Tapu Koko shenanigans next turn. So, let's grab Honchkrow, and I'll just put something up. And then I can switch back into him. And then I can Strong Charge... <laughs> I only actually had two lightning energy in my deck. Sorry, three. And I managed to hit one of them, but not a grass. Boo, etc. So, good news is here we're taking the first prize. The problem is my opponent's deck here is not one that, what, that cares about going down a prize or two. It is just trying to smash with Honchkrow. So, his plan is just spread a bunch of damage around, spread a bunch of damage around, do huge damage. Weavile can do it. For a single energy, Tapu Coco can do it. I really need to not be mucking about with these little prizes, but I'm kind of forced to. And all of this really has come around because of that first couple of turns. Ooh, question is, do I just let his Honchkrow KO a Tapu Bulu or two? Maybe. I mean, it's a moot point. I don't have a Guzma. And now I'm going to have to... S oh, this is awkward. I might have to Sycamore my Octillery, which kind of sucks. To be honest, I'd really quite like a Bridget right about now. Please play Mega Manectric. It's not something I'm planning on playing in the near future. Sorry about that. Yeah, I could play free Bridget, but this list is tight. Now, here's what I should have done this game. I should have just Guzma to GX. And I should just keep Guzmaring GXs. That's what I should do. Free GXs win the game. Rather than mucking about of all of these non-GXs. Because I'm running the risk here of him bringing up an Acrosma and just going to town. Because right now, a Weavile will do 60-60, not that worrying. But then the Crosma will do 100 and KO the Lele. Oh, oh, this is a very risky play. Skylar for a Max Elixir. Oh, wait, he hits his own Pokemon as well. Oh, I can live with that. I forgot about that. Ah. Oh. Okay. So. We're going to have to Skylar here. Hmm. Because we, we need that Octillery for next turn. Tempted to grab a Guzma. No, let's go Heavy Ball. Now, do we go for a Charger Bug? Or do... No, we go Second Bulu. Of course we go Second Bulu here. It's got to be Second Bulu. So we can have something ready to go next turn. So, let's go Strong Charge. And then we'll just pop both of them onto the old Bulu. And then we can take another easy KO. It doesn't matter if Honchkrow is able to get a couple of big KOs throughout the game. That's not a problem. But if multiple Honchkrow can take big KOs, that's how I lose. So what I really need here is to get some Guzma action going on. But I think I only played two Guzma and I've already used one of them. But getting ahead in the pro See, now now do I try and good mother Honchkrow? Also, I finally had Octillery and I get end. Do I go after the Honchkrow or do I just take two prizes and ignore it? It's an interesting one. 
Okay. He clearly wants that Necrozma. But there's not really much I can do this turn. Because I've got to take out the Coco. I mean, the Necrozma will take out late. Oh, has he got it this turn? He's got it this turn. That's cool. That is fun. That is a cool play. I quite like that. I do like that. Now, great news for me is I can now use my GX attack, get a KO and completely heal. And he's actually taken a lot of damage off the board, making... Oh, no, wait, because, yeah, that Tapu Bulu. Ha! That Tapu Bulu is still a, a, in a bit of a bit of an issue. All right. So we're just going to Sycamore for now. Oh, should there be Mega GX? I'm not 100% convinced there should. I don't know how in favor I am of Mega GXs. That seems like a bit too much. Okay, there are no other Bulu. So, let's go. Let's just get a second Vika Volt up. Let's just do that. Because then we can start using Octillery. Now that we got Octillery in 2 Vika Volt, we're doing quite well. But there is the whole prize rate. Actually, no, this has worked out beautifully. Because I've still got a Guzma left in my deck. So now I can Guzma for the win because my opponent brought up a GX. So now I've taken two little prizes. Then he brings up an Acrosma and I take a KO. Now I can actually Guzma for the win next turn. That's actually lovely. Okay, now I'm now I'm quite excited. I like this. Mega Whale or GX 450. Do I think the Glaceon GX could work in Empoleon? Yes. And I've said this before and I'll say it again. Hello, Scoregate. I hope the first stream, I hope this stream is everything you dreamed of and more. If I'm if I'm playing in Sheffield. That's fine. Because we're just going to Guzma next turn for the win anyway. Uh, we've got the Lele, so we can use Lele to search for Guzma. Um, and he can't end me now, so we do have the win next turn, which is nice. Yeah, if I go to Sheffield to play, unless it just turns out to be garbage, which I suppose it might. Um, but if I go to Guzma to... Uh, go to Guzma. If I go to Sheffield to play, the deck I am very much testing is going to be... Um, uh, where it was it? That going to be testing is Empoleon Glaceon. Although I found out there's going to be a, a Pokemon tournament. The only European qualifier, as I said in my video today, the only European qualifier is going to be in Sheffield. So I am tempted to rock up there with my capture card and computer, try and record slash stream some of that. Thank you very much for the game. Well played. That was a fun game. I like playing against unusual decks and having a kind of work it out. Oh, the new Garchomp does look good. Although it will be better when it comes as a fighting Pokemon. Yeah, Salad Sizzle, basically, the male Salandits don't evolve in the game. And it makes me sad because I had a male Salandit that I got to, like, level 50. So now I call it the wrong name. Okay, terrible opening hand. My Bulu deck is not going as consistently as I would hope. See, even this is an opening hand. I'm just going to sycamore away a whole bunch of stuff like Field Blower, Energy Recycler, Choice Band that I'd really like to keep. I've got no choice. Now, if I top deck a Bridget, an Ultra Ball, or a Tapu Lele, then we got a whole different story. If we don't, bad news bears. Yes, J Trots just subscribed. You are awesome. Okay. So now I get to discard a whole bunch of resources that I... Oh, why did I not attach the choice band? That was dumb. Okay. And I don't hit a Grubbin. And I don't hit a Remoraid. And this is just horrific. This is not going to be a long game. This is not going to be a long game. Um, I've just... I've lost... I had to get rid of a lot of good resources early on, which isn't in itself good. But then to get rid of those resources and have this at the end of turn one, no. 
If I had a grub in, I could rare candy. I could Skylar for a heavy ball, get the Vika Volt, turn two Vika Volt, and then get the KO with Tapu Bulu. That would be cool. <laughs> Rubbish. Ah, uh, nah. I don't want to sound mean creeping through. I don't like mirror matches. Mirror matches. This is why I always play weird decks at tournaments. Oh, go on then. Show off with your turn one, Bridget. And the worst thing is, it's not even like I've got a good thing for next turn. I've got Skylar or Kukui. I don't have a good option for next turn. What do I do? Skylar for a Ultra Ball and... What I really need is a Bridget. I want a Grubbin and I want a Remoraid. Ah. Snorlax Gamer 16YT, are you on the list? I know you wanted to be. But when I need when I say name, what I need is your in-game name. I need your PTCGO name so I can play you on PTCGO. Yeah. Oh. Now this shouldn't be a bad matchup. Because I can one hit KO all of my opponent's Pokemon. While they don't one-hit KO me. In theory, this is a fairly good matchup. In reality, this is not a great matchup. Because look at my hand. I just, I have nothing. I have absolutely nothing. So what I've got to go and do now is start getting rid of a whole bunch of stuff that I'd really rather not get rid of. So that I can have a choice of... Yeah. Now, the only saving grace is, if my opponent plays a Guzma to KO my Grubbin, I just need an energy to get a KO. Bad news is, I then won't have a Vikavolt. And that will be bad. So, as it stands at the moment, I'm in a weird kind of position. Because I can KO that. Problem is, I can KO that. By using Skylar for a heavy ball, grabbing a Vika Volt, rare candying up, attaching a choice band and getting a KO while discarding all the energy. But then my opponent probably gets a KO back and then I have nothing. One saving grace. If I KO the Golisopod, in fact my opponent should attack with Zoroark here, not Golisopod. Because if they attack with Golisopod, I can get them, I can stick up my Zerkatry and Zoroark can't touch it. What they want to do is put the Zoroark in harm's way. I KO the Zoroark. They get the return KO with Golisopod. But then even then they can't attach a double colorless and use armor press for instance. Yeah. Now I said we'd do some questions today. Oh. Double edged. Oh. Yeah. You know that, that switch I just got rid of. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We are going to Skylar for a candy. Oh, no! No! I meant Skylar for a heavy ball. I am upset. Because I had it all worked out, right? I was going to get my Vika Volt up, put a Grass Energy on Bulu so it was ready to go, put a Lightning Energy on Zerkatry, use Lightning GX to take one of his two cards from his hand, put it down, and we were going to roll! But I done a stupid. This is why I shouldn't stream. I mean, I'm going to keep streaming. I adore streaming. I would never make that mistake in real life. But when I'm streaming and trying to give you guys a question, right, I said question, so... Question I've got for you guys. Whereabouts are you in the world? And what time is it wherever you are? Tell me, please, ladies and gentlemen. Tell me. I would love to know. Oh, I'm so upset. That was going to be a sick turn. To be fair, I still wasn't going to do much. But I was going to put him seven prizes, get rid of a card from his hand. Oh... That was not good. 
Snorlax Gamer 17, you may be the last one up for today. We'll have to wait and see. Do make sure, ladies and gentlemen, that you do click that subscribe button. That would be lovely. And do make sure that, you know, if you're an Amazon Prime subscriber, remember you get a free subscription as an Amazon Prime member. Chuck it my way. If you'd be so kind, that would be lovely. Ah, oh, Charlotte, I want to go back to Charlotte. I really want to go to Charlotte Regionals. I'm definitely not, but that would be amazing. I'm a huge Hornets fan. I love the Hornets. They are my boys. Uh, so what have we got? Brighton, Southern California, Netherlands. <laughs> what's he done a stupid? It's what's he done a stupid. Tennessee, Maine, Germany, Wyoming, Warrington, Cheshire, Chicago, New York. New York was not nice to me. Bolton, Bristol. Ah, oh, good times. Come on, top deck and energy. Top deck and energy. Top deck and energy. Or a Vika Volt. The really sad thing here is, not only did getting that candy stop me getting a Vika Volt this turn, last turn, but it's also meant... Oh, wow. Wow. But it's also meant that I now don't have... A, um, I've only got two candy left in deck. So the chances of drawing into my candy have just gone down quite significantly. I mean, this game is, is mine for the taking. This should be a fairly winnable game. But I need to draw some stuff. Right now, an N to four ain't going to do it. I need a Vika Vault next turn. Okay. This might work. This might help. Because if I get a Vika Vault next turn, if he brings up Golisopod, I will need my last choice band as well. Oh, yes. All right. I can work with this, ladies and gentlemen. Because in theory, right, I get choice band to KO a Golisopod. And then I just Guzma up a Lele at some point, and that's game. Right, that, that's my route to victory here. That is my path to victory. Indianapolis. Ah, oh, Buzz City. I mean, literally, I'm not making this up. I'm such a big Hornets fan that the wife and I, for the honeymoon, the plan was this, right? We're going to go, we're going to start in New York, partly because it's the easy, cheap place to fly to in the US, and partly because, you know, New York. I mean, it was terrifying and people in New York weren't nice to me, but it was great in theory. And then we're going to end the honeymoon down in the Everglades, seeing the alligators, because my wife is quite the fan of reptiles. Okay. This was all good. And then I said, well, what? why don't we detour the honeymoon through Charlotte, North Carolina? Because if we do that, we can see some Hornets games. And I kid you not, ladies and gentlemen, we literally detoured our honeymoon through Charlotte, to watch a couple of Hornets games. That is absolutely true. Um, well, actually, we went to see one, but then we stayed longer than planned because Charlotte's amazing. So as we were there for longer than planned, obviously, we, we had to go and see some Hornets games as well. Uh, sorry, a second Hornets game. It would be folly not to. So we have not hit what we wanted here. Not the end of the world. What we do is... Yes. So. Now, we could actually have hit for 100 here and forced him to use an S-Roller. But, to be honest, I just want a flying flip. I don't mind if he takes a non-GX KO. But, if we can get a second flying flip, that really helps. With it. One flying flip doesn't do much. But a second flying flip really transforms the numbers here greatly. I am going to need an energy recycler soon, though, because I'm running out of lightning energy. In fact, I might be out of lightning energy, which would be stupid. We can live with this. Again, this was just, it was a poor start, and I don't have my octillery. If I had an octillery there, I'd be feeling so much better about my chances. But I prioritize getting out the Vika Vault. What can you do? Creeping fruit, have a lovely evening, sir. It's all right. Snorlax Gamer 17 is the last one we're doing anyway. So thank you very much for modding. It's really appreciated. Need to find me a lovely Cornish wife. Yes, then you can come and live in Cornwall. We can hang out. It'll be fun. 
Uh, although, to be fair, I was, for a long time, I was very bad at finding lovely Cornish people to date. And then it turned out I found my wife, who was a very lovely Cornish person to date. So lovely, in fact, that I married her. And that was a great plan. Marrying my wife, definitely a good thing to do. I feel like I'm much the better for it. <laughs> oh, there will be misplays. There's always misplays. Okay, what's he going for with a Guzma? Huh. But he's not KOing with Vika Volt. That's an interesting one. I don't think he can KO that Vika Volt. I could be wrong. The other thing is, of course, I'm down to... Oh, am I playing three or four? I think I'm playing four candy, but it means I've only got one left in my deck. Oh, he's using Crossing Cut GX. This is cool. This is cool. That is a good play, and I like it. Now, sometimes it's good to use your Crossing Cut GX. I find there are an awful lot of Golisopod players out there who are not good at using Crossing Cut GX properly. That, ladies and gentlemen, was a wonderful example of a correct use of Crossing Cut GX. That was really good. That was brilliant. Um, just going to have to end straight away here. I mean, that sucks. That is not a good hand. Like, at all. Yeah. I've not got the second Vika Vault going. If I, and the, the really bad thing there is I didn't get an energy. If I top decked, if I got an energy off that end to four, then next turn I can get an energy and then I can get a KO with Tapu Bulu. Because now that I've done two flying flips, that is in range of, of a non-belted... Uh, Bulu. That is in range of a non-belted Bulu. Moving back around Easter. That would be cool, man. That would be awesome. I like having more Cornish friends. That would be awesome. Does my wife like Pokemon? No. My wife has absolutely no interest in Pokemon whatsoever. Like, zero interest in Pokemon. Which a lot of people find very strange. But that's the way it is. Now, here is a mistake my opponent has made. He's put a double colorless on Golisopod. And he's put a double colorless on Zoroark. Oh, no! Now. Oh, he's probably... I don't think I can... I think he's got too many Guzma here. Because this is a great, great play from my opponent. So, I don't know what I'm going to be able to do here, to be perfectly honest. I'm not... Oh, my goodness. The draws, ladies and gentlemen. The draws. Let's just play an N. Oh, my goodness. Right. Good news is I'm playing Brock's Grit and all of that. So, here's what we're going to do. Okay. We have no Grubbin left in our deck. Although, actually, we really need a Lele for next turn. So let's just do that. Yes, I know I just ultra ball two Lele to get a Lele. I didn't see Remoraid there. Do I not have a Remoraid in my deck? And now we just stall. Ah, oh, now I can still win this. And the way I win this is very, very simple. Number one, I get a choice band and an energy. And then I use Tapu Wilderness GX to KO one of these. Then I get a... And then I've still got free energy on there. And I've got no damage because I use Tapu Wilderness. Then I grab a Guzma and KO one of these. That is my route to victory. I don't want a Guzma right now. Because I need an energy and a choice band and a Guzma. Oh, I haven't played a Guzma, though, yet. Okay. So I'm going to have to do that. Yes, I do want a supporter card. All of these cards suck. And my Remoraid's prized again. No end, no Sycamore. I don't like this at all. I don't even know what I go for here. I need an energy and a choice band. 
Do I go Brox to try and get an energy next turn? Do I grab a Guzma, even though there's nothing I can do with it right now? I don't have an energy search card. Okay. So I've only got four energy in the discard and all. So let's grab a Skylar. Uh, this is rubbish. I need that choice band, but I also need an energy. So let's go energy recycler. Actually, I need a switch as well. Not loving this, ladies and gentlemen. Not loving this at all. I don't think... My wife does love shoes. My wife is a huge fan of shoes. She has many pairs of shoes. Yeah. I mean, we're just stalling out here. I need energy choice band. Energy choice band and I can pretty much win the game. But... It's a lot to ask. It's an awful lot to ask. And a switch, actually. I've so, I thought I had a Sycamore left in my deck. So my plan was, I'm like, right, well, I'm just going to play a Sycamore and I'll be fine. Oh, please don't play two Puzzle of Time. I think he's playing two Puzzle of Time. Or is he playing one Puzzle of Time? So he can trade and grab what he needs. Solgaleo and Metagross seem too clunky. No, it was. It was. Two stage twos. The rule with stage twos is simple. You can sometimes get away with playing two stage twos. Just so long as one of them has a draw engine. So, for instance, the old Magnazone Embor deck. You could do that. Oh, See, now we can just double Guzma and KO. And he's got the first Guzma ready to go. And actually, this can't be KO'd with a choice ban. I, I don't even know what I want here, because I know I don't have the draw power. My Remoraid is prized again, and I don't have any Sycamore left in hand, in deck. So, I just don't really know what to do. Yeah. And now if he's got Guzma next turn, he wins. This has not been a terribly exciting game, but I just don't know. Like, once my Vika Vault went down, and don't get me wrong, my opponent played it beautifully. Going after the Vika Vault was definitely the thing to do. But it's just not helped. Problem is, as soon as my opponent draws a Guzma now, he wins the game. And you've got to think he's got the Guzma. Hey-ho. Can't have it all, ladies and gentlemen. Can't have it all. Like I say, it's it's one of those games... Had I been able to get set up faster? Yeah. Had I had access to my Remoraid? Yeah. Had I... Been able to... Um, you know, have my opponent not taken out my v Vault? Yeah. But I had a bad start. Never had my Remoraid. And my opponent made the right plays. Yeah, there we go. I mean, there's nothing we can do about this. All right, Snorlax Gamer, show me some unusual things. No, my my wife is not a fan of card games. Um, We played Triominoes the other day, the wife and I, which was a bit... Wasn't necessarily my kind of game show. I mean, it was fun, don't get me wrong. Anytime you can sit around and play a game with your family, it's always a good time. But my games, for instance, I, I like games where you've kind of you got to sit down for 20 minutes, try and learn how to play, do a couple of test games, but then when you really understand how it works, it gets super in-depth. That, for me, is, you know, they're my kind of games. So, you know, I'll go to a nerd shop, and my friends will be like, hey, I found this new, um, this new board game. It's going to take us, like, 20 minutes to figure it out. They're my kind of games. Or maybe I'm just a bit pretentious. Now, here's what sucks. Once again... I have no Remoraid, my Octillery is in the discard pile, and, ugh, alright, not the end of the world yet, so, let's get rid of an energy and a switch, do I have, 
I don't even play Rescue Stretcher in this deck. So it, it's I've got to find it with Brock's Grit and then draw into it, which is going to be harsh for the rest of the game. So do I go Tapu Lele for the following turn? Do I get a Bulu? All right. No, I'll tell you what we do. We get a Bulu. No, we get a Spare Grubbin. Because again, and I, I feel like every game I don't get my my Octillery. Either one of the parts is prized, both of the parts are prized, or I end up in this ridiculous position where I have to discard one early and then I can't find it. Would I let my kids play Pokemon TCG? Absolutely. I'd love it if my kids played Pokemon TCG. I'd be so proud of them. But I'm not going to force it. Oh, uh, I had Candy Vikavolt, but nothing afterwards. So, by the way, if you ever play me, do make sure you're not listening, because that's not a very nice thing to do. <sighs> Sucks. All right. Might as well get rid of Bridget at this stage. Okay. So, what we're going to do, we can grab a Charger Bug here. Nope. What am I doing? What am I doing, ladies and gentlemen? This is going to be convoluted as you like. But that's all right. So, we're going to Ultra Ball 4. I almost made a silly misplay. Again, these are the kind of things that in a tournament setting I just see. But when I'm sitting playing on stream and answering questions, I get confused. Then we Lele for a Skylar. And then we Skylar for a candy. Candy! This clown's filled with candy. Family guy. And then we candy up into a Vika Vault. Then we strong charge. So we get all the energy we want on our Bulu. We might as well field blow of the wishful bat and just for funsies. We retreat the Coco into a Bulu. And then we Nature's Judgment. Turn to Nature's Judgment for 180. Don't get that very often. And now that N actually worked for me. Because as convoluted as getting that Vika Vault was, I've now got an N ready for next turn. And of course I draw a candy. What kind of sleeves do I use for tournament? Ultra Pro. I love me some Ultra Pro. Um, what's my most hated deck of all time? Durant. I hated playing against Durant. That deck sucked. I think I made a video about it. Go check it out. Have I ever played Fortnite? No, I chose PUBG. Fortnite and PUBG, that... Oh. Fortnite and PUBG are the kind of things where you, you've got to choose one or the other. You can either go Fortnite or... Or you can go PUBG. I went PUBG. No regrets, ladies and gentlemen. Now, here's my bone of contention. When I'm playing more light, uh, more grass energy than I am lightning, how come I always draw into lightning, but I never draw into grass energy? Okay. But I don't think there's any way I can do this this turn. Which is rubbish. Ooh, and I don't think my opponent's got very much for next turn, which is okay. Um, I don't like doing this. It's not usually something I do. But I might as well just do that for the time being. And then we can strong charge... I don't think my opponent can KO me next turn. I don't think that's something they're able to do. I want to say that's the case. Uh, might as well Choice Band, because Choice Band is not an important card in this matchup. The reason we're doing this is now he's got 110 HP left, which means if he Field Blow as a Choice Band, I can still use Nature's Judgment without using a... Um, I can still use Nature's Judgment without discarding, and then I get the KO. Did I, we're not playing Expanded. We're playing Standard. Chorus isn't legal in Standard. Ah, oh, if you drop a Skyfield. Oh, 
Nah, we're having fun. And to be fair... Oh. <laughs> you have got Skyfield and Chorus. Um, sorry. <laughs> we're definitely playing standard. <laughs> oh, it's not the end of the world. We're all right. Right. Now. No, I'll tell you what. Hmm, yeah. What we really want to do here is draw into a grass energy and then strong charge onto a new Bulu. Oh, yeah. So there we get the grass energy. Now we bench a new Bulu. Now we can strong charge. Oh, no, we're good. I was worried for a moment that we'd actually, um, yeah. And now we basically win next turn. So at this stage, I think we're feeling very, very good about ourselves because we've basically got a Bulu ready to go next turn. So we can nature's judgment. We do want to discard all the energy. The other option I could... Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. Yes, there we go. Because the other thing is, of course, that Tapu Koko does 50 damage times the amount of energy attack to all of your opponent's Pokemon. Well, at the moment, that does 100. So I don't think my opponent can get a KO here. So even though they've got an expanded deck, I think we're going all right. <laughs> Play more lightning than grass to trick PTCGO. Oh, that's quite fun. I've been enjoying the stream tonight. I really have. I mean... The thing is, some players, they do this stream, and their stream is, this is a good list of a good deck. Watch me crush. And that's cool. I enjoy those streams. I like those streams. I don't think that's ever going to be my stream. My stream is very much a... <laughs> having some fun kind of stream. Now, here's an interesting one. Because I don't have the energy to win the game this turn. I can... <laughs> no, we're actually doing all right. Here's what we're going to do. Because what we're going to do is we're going to strong charge two energy onto a Bulu. Now, my opponent's going to KO the Bulu. All right, fine. Thing is, when they KO the Bulu, I can then just strong energy onto this Bulu, and then we win. I'm not strong, he's strong charge. So when I strong charge onto this Bulu, um, I'm going to Dallas this weekend. I, that's weird, right, and I, I still, I get that, right, I know how weird it is that a couple of years ago, I started making a Pokemon podcast, because I wanted to listen to one, and no one was making one, and now I'm going to Dallas, like, I completely understand how weird it is, I'm like, and now I'm off to Dallas, it's strange, and unusual, and and I do realise how lucky I am. And it's so weird. Just the thought that I'm going to Dallas this weekend. And if I'd never started doing a podcast, nobody would have wanted me in Dallas. I'd just been some random player who occasionally had some mild success. It's, it's such a weird thing to me. But I do understand it. And I do know how lucky I am. Alrighty then. Yes, I would like to discard all energy from this Pokemon. Alrighty then. I think that is a fun deck, especially in Expanded. I do worry that it's just a little bit slow. But still, thank you very much. That was a fun game. And I tell you what, one of the reasons I wanted to... Uh, genuinely, this is genuinely true. One of the reasons I wanted to do viewer battles today was because I know you guys are superbly creative because you send me all the tweets, etc. and all the emails. And I wanted to see what weird stuff you came up with. I played against a uh, whole Lucha uh, Weavile. I played against, I got crushed by a Del Fox. I, um, I got to play against a uh, Raichu Tapu Coco. This was a, a Dublade Victini. Which I may well do a video on. That was fun. That was a great deck. I think I've got that one lined up for a video. So honestly, ladies and gentlemen, that was a great that was a great time. I love streaming with you guys, and I very much enjoyed that. I'm not a hundred percent convinced that Tapu Bulu V Cavol is the best deck ever. It is probably my favourite deck at the moment, and the fact that it can get one hit KOs on Golisopon and Zoroark while not being one hit KO'd back really does give it an air of ooh, we should have a look at this. But as always, ladies and gentlemen, I want to know what you think about this deck, so let me know in the comment section. Go nuts!
be nice. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi, and be following on Twitch so that in the future you can check out these videos live. Do check out Wasi Plays, my video game channel, and if you want to support the channel, get some bonus pods and all that good stuff, you can do so over at patreon.com slash ptcgradio. But by far the most important thing as always is to look after yourselves until next time. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.